All right, if you follow Rudy Giuliani's Twitter account, be aware that the links he shares may lead you to hackers. And he's not doing this maliciously, but he's so prone to making typos on Twitter that people have taken to buying up domains based on his errant tweets. And some of them are leading to some bad stuff. Alfred, what did you find? So this happened on Sunday uh, between the hours of uh, 12.33 a.m. and uh, 8.55 a.m. Uh, he sent out three tweets to his website, which is RudyGiulianiCS.com, which it's uh, CS stands for common sense. It's like a podcast uh. that he's making now. Here's the problem with those three tweets uh, where he tweeted out links to his own website. None of them were actually links to his own website. So <laughs> there was one where he put a space after Rudy. So it was just Giuliani NC, uh, GiulianiCS.com. And that led to a website that um, prompted people to download a Google Chrome extension that downloaded, uh, uh, that basically took your browser data and changed your search engine and has been referred to as um, like spyware by by others um, who, who have like found the same extension. Right. Um, so that was one website. The other two were more pranks okay. where one of it uh, was, uh, he was talking about Mitt Romney and he said, uh, watch Rudy Giuliani uh, CS.com tomorrow. Here's the thing. He didn't put a space after um, watch. So literally watch Rudy Giuliani CS.com. CS. Yeah. So that became its own website. Ah. The day after somebody registered that domain name and had it redirect to a drug rehabilitation program. <laughs> um, and then there was another one where he just missed the last I in it so in his own name for that matter uh and that redirected to the wikipedia page for the trump uh ukraine uh scandal wow so some of it is like malicious like software stuff right, but like it's the, clearly some pranks but, but these are the, uh, the point is these were done really quickly right yeah yeah some of them were done even before he had tweeted them out so uh the one the one that led to the ex the google chrome extension mm -hmm. that would that domain name was registered like i think january 31st so like a good like two weeks before Giuliani even tweeted out that like wrong wow. link. So wow. they have been seeing typos from him and they've been expecting him to make these mistakes. So if people just bought up like errant typos based around his URL, yeah. like his site. Wow. Yeah. And like companies like this happens a lot. Like this is something known as like typo squatting. And this happens a lot with like popular websites. That's mm. why like if you're a large company, sometimes you'll buy domain names that right. like are similar to yours. So like Facebook, for example, they own a uh, facebox.com. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So if you type it in, it'll just go back to Facebook. Okay. Um, but before they did that, like people would buy those domain names and set up like a fake looking Facebook page uh, and like people would go to, Oh yeah, this is register Facebook. your information. Yeah. And yeah. 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 So um, that happens with popular websites. It usually doesn't happen with um, a single person's website. Yeah. So, but uh, hackers have kind of found out that like, oh, Giuliani makes typos so often that like we should just do this. His errors are so consistent. That basically, the hackers yeah. Hackers can bank on him. Yeah, basically. Wow.